Libra. Thank you for coming to Indigo Goddess 1111. My name is Indigo and I am here to give you your channeled messages for mid-February to probably the end of March. So your guys' main issues this month is getting over fears of your past and past failed relationships. You have a lot of fears on whether it's going to work out or whether you're going to get hurt or whether they're going to make you out to be a fool. A group of you are separated right now from your divine partners, but it was needed in order to In order to heal, you guys weren't both ready for each other, but you had to heal on your own. It was healing that required solitude. For another group of you, you're having a hard time leaving the past behind you. You are bringing past hurts and projecting them on the people you are around or with now. Spirit is saying though it's time to heal those hurts because with the new the next new moon love is coming in there'll be a soulmate coming towards you some of you are very very tired though very tired. You feel like you don't have what it takes to go on anymore. For you, it's time to rest. Step away from the rest of the world and just rest. For another group of you, you need to open up communication. It needs to happen or the person that you're with or the person that you want to be with will not be around anymore. Someone is holding back truth, Libra. Either you or whoever you're dealing with. They're not being honest or you're not being honest with them. You're also holding back on truth from yourself. Something to do with your past. Fears of your past challenge you a lot this month, Libra. That's like all my messages I'm getting are about your past relationships, your past hurts, and fear of future relationships due to your past hurts. So it is definitely time to rest and let those heal so you can let love come in. Somebody snuck around in the past on you or you on them and they were caught. And now the fear of that being repeated is your biggest challenge. You fear it won't work out. You're, you're fearing it. You're going to get hurt again. Your major challenge this month is healing. You'll have new beginnings after you heal these hurts. You're going to get an unexpected message come in.
and it's going to cause you excitement. For another group of you, you don't want a new beginning. You're dwelling on that person of your past. But you're not healing either. For a group of you that are in separation from their twin flame, they are coming back this month, the month of March. But you have to be healed. You have to do your healing or they're just going to come in, make a connection with you and then be gone again. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, who was your twin flame or is your twin flame? They've really caused you a lot of hurt in, in the past. A lot. Or vice versa. I'm seeing tears and crying and fighting and cheating and lies, deceit, theft. The whole list goes on and on. For a group of you, I feel that your partner is not being honest with you about an addiction they have, or you're not being honest with your partner. Somebody is battling an addiction to a chemical or like a drug. And either you're, you're hiding it or they're hiding it from you. I see a lot of sadness and guilt around you guys. For a group of you, you're living in your shadow side instead of your side of light. And Spirit says that needs to change. You need to set boundaries and slow down. Slow down and enjoy the little things. You're moving so fast in so many different directions that you're spreading yourself too thin and you're not taking enough time for you. For a group of you, you need to be loyal. You need to honor your partner, forgive the past, and move forward. For the group of you who their twin flames are coming back in March, they're going to come in with an apology. Spirit is saying that this is a great time for you to apologize as well. Because things went on between the two of you that aren't what they, like they appeared to be. Spirit is also saying to meditate to calm your mind, to clear your mind, and to get out of your head. Because in the here and now is the only place that we're here, living life. It's the only place you'll find truth, is living in the moment. Everybody's memory is different. Everybody's thoughts are different. Everybody's recollection of what happened yesterday was different. But if you're here today, right now, living the moment, then you won't need to worry about what's going on because you'll know, you'll be here. So you're saying you're taking too much time looking in the past. The past is already gone. You can't do anything about it. You need to heal that and move on, move forward because if you keep looking in the past, you're missing the present and it's going to ruin your future. A lot of you, a lot of you are seeing the number four over and over. That is your twin trying to contact you or show you that he's there or she's there. Another group of you are seeing 777. That's an angel message that a very spiritual one that you're right where you're supposed to be and that you're on the right track. 
Really, overall, Libra, you guys have love coming in. For those of you not in the Twin Flame journey, at this new, this next new moon, you have new love coming in. For those of you um, waiting for your soulmate, they're here. They're waiting for you to be healed. So meditate, heal, ground yourself, get balanced. And for those of you in the Twin Flame journey, they're here as well. Everybody's just waiting for you guys to heal. Um, for those of you who are healed, congratulations. Um, now just take a step back and continue continue to work on yourself though. Spirit's saying we're a never ending project. There's always things to be healed. And in order to stay balanced, you have to keep it up anyways. For the group of you who are hung up on your past relationship that didn't turn out the way you wanted it to, that's because it wasn't meant for you. Spirit says that you're trying to play over and over in your head what you, what happened, what, what did you do wrong for it to end. And Spirit is saying nothing. You didn't do anything wrong. It was not meant for you. They were meant to come into your life, teach you a lesson, and leave. 